I've been, I've been poppin', poppin', man, I feel just like a rock star All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star Alright you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I did my dreads from beginning to end. Right here I am sh trying to see basically if they're long enough to do what I need them to do. I would like to be able to style them and put them in the pineapple design and different type of um, designs. I can't remember the name of this design, but um, I was checking here to see if it would be long enough. So I'm pretty okay with it for right now. And right now I'm going to show you guys how I start the dread. You have to take the regular cam, what, cankalon hair, the big braid hair. And what I'm doing now is just making some little box plaits. Does not matter if they're perfectly neatly done or not. You just need to put them in so that they'll be the foundation for the lock extension. So that is what I am doing right now three strand plait all the way down you do it as long as you want it however long you want to dread this is how long you're gonna do the plait i did start these dreads and uh the length that i started them with i wanted to change them and you're gonna see in the video how you can go back i believe i in, i put that clip in you can see how to go back and change it because you see how the um the hair that i'm plaiting in you can always go in and add more hair to it. So even if after you finish the lock, you can take the rubber band off the tip of the lock and you can expose the and you can expose the end of the lock and unbend it and un and expose it and just add to the synthetic plat that was underneath the bottom. So don't burn the tip of it. So that way you can unbend it and then just add more hair to it and keep going like that so i'm just gonna get some wine and just try to make this an enjoyable time because this normally takes me about a couple of days this time it took me three days to do my hair and I, you might say i don't have a full head of hair but it still took me some time this wine right here is really really nice It's very sweet when it says sweet on the bottle i was not expecting it to be as sweet as it is it is really good it almost tastes like a red crushed soda so if you don't like something that sweet then you might want to stay away from it but if you do you will absolutely love this so i just drank my wine and did my hair and tried to enjoy the time as much as possible but so that's what i was basically doing you have to stretch the hair you um take it loose at the tip this is the kinky kinky hair when it comes out of the pack is very kinky so what you do is don't get the one that looks silky get the one that looks really really kinky um so anyway you have to go ahead and unravel it at the tip you have to smooth it out and it's don't just take it out the pack and just put it on because at the tip it'd be too skinny so you see me right here i'm pulling it loose and i'm separating the hair and i'm spreading it out and stuff like that because when you wrap it around what i'm going to do is wrap it around the, the um, plait that i just put in and you see how i put a little piece like i have it hanging down some start to go around at the base of the plait keep going around and around and you do want to do this tightly but at the base don't do it too tight because if you do it too tight at the base it's gonna hurt and make sure you make the hair continue to spread and it does not get skinny and as you're going around the base or while you're going around the plait because you need it to be spread it out and you can overlap an area to make it as thick as you want as you go and i suggest that you don't overlap it and make it really thick if you're going to have a lot of plaits because then it's going to be hard to pin up if you have a lot of locks and you make them really thick and i i made that mistake um i liked my hair but it was hard to pin up and when i pinned it up it was very big this time i made sure that i went even smaller than before so you're gonna see that the bun in my hair is not as big as it used to be so i am really wrapping it tight and thin and 
So you have to gauge how thick you want it. Um, if you have lesser plat um dreads, lesser lock extensions that you're putting in, you're not putting in as many. You might want to go a little bit thicker, and all and also be mindful. Like with me, I did not lose. I did not use any glue. So if you're not using glue, you have to make sure that you're wrapping the hair and that it's not too loose because it would just slide off of the plait when you're getting ready to pin it up. And then when you pin it up, you do have to take the lock and wrap it around the rest of the lock. So you do want it to be um, wrapped around tightly on the uh, foundation plait that you put in. Or either you can put like, as you're wrapping, you can put a little spot of um, glue on it and then wrap it around the glue and then wrap it around and then it's gonna sit on top of the plate and that will hold it too. All right, y'all, so I'm in the middle of redoing my hair, but it takes me quite some time to do it. And I decided to do it and I have a doctor's appointment. So now, instead of me walking out the door looking like a fool, I'm tying my hair up so I can get out of here and still look cute and get to my appointment. So that's what we doing right now. And then I got my little glasses to finish off the look. Oh, let me see. I got to put my little lip gloss on so I can be popping. All right, so I got to stay hydrated. Ah, oh, get blood work done. So... We're on our way to the doctor's office. So that's what we're doing right now. Got my little shades and tied up my hair so that I look like somebody because I'm in the middle of doing my hair. I have not finished yet. Started from yesterday and forgot all about that I have a doctor's appointment. It always takes me a couple of days to do my hair. And I was like, Ooh, you moving faster than this time. But I realized it's because I'm doing them shorter, but I don't like them as short as I was doing them. Cause I was feeling like they're gonna be easier to pin up and I can do more styles. But I like the um, longer ones, but I decided, you know what, if I make them thinner, but keep the length, I still be okay. So that's what I'm doing for right now. Got to get to this doctor's appointment, then I get back home and finish up my hair and that champagne that y'all see me no not champagne wine that i was drinking doing my hair i was blown away wow i'm so late to the to the party i'm so late to the party i'm just not starting to drink champagne and wine i can't believe it so i thought it's not like i never tasted before but i tasted but never like really drank it again so um I found out about uh, Prosecco when I went out with my son to this um, little resort. And then I started going to the store and saying I was going to buy me some Prosecco or relive the moment, right? I get there's about 45 different uh, Prosecco. So I just been like, I'm just going to try a bottle of every time I go, right? So now I went and I picked up Moscato. Let me tell y'all how new to the party I am, right? I didn't know Mus uh, Moscato was a wine. I was talking to someone and I say, hey, um, how, what you think? Cause you know, I'm trying out different Prosecco's but I decided to pick up Moscato and I'm just trying out stuff. So I'm like, okay, this is a different champagne. It says sweet and it's red. So let me try this one. Maybe this one won't be as bitter. It'll be a little bit better. So she said, that, that's a wine. I was like, oh man. Cause I want the bubbles and stuff like that. So, but anyway, when I cracked it open and that thing started fizzing like a strawberry soda. I was, oh, and it tastes good just like a strawberry soda. I was so excited. So anyway, yeah, that's my little rant while I'm going to this doctor's appointment because doctor's appointments like is not somewhere people want to go. You know what I mean? 
and I have a whole bunch of things that I need to do. It's the beginning of the year, so I'm getting the ball rolling and getting it out of the way and not gonna think anything of it and just gonna know where I gotta go. Yeah. So I'll see y'all back at the house or when I stop to get something to eat because I can't eat nothing right now. All I can do is drink water and this water, y'all ever tried this water before? I thought that it would be good because it got like different, I thought it would be good because it had different flavors. But they picked the perfect name for their brand, right? Because you actually get a hint of the flavor, right? I'm thinking this is going to be some fizzy water. Good for me. Finally, I found some water I can drink. But man, when I tell you this water is nasty, my grandson would not drink it, okay? I thought he would probably drink it because it got a little flavor to it. But man, this thing tastes like... You know how um you has a little bit of juice left in the cup with a whole bunch of ice and the ice melt and you can still taste a little tiny bit of whatever it is that you was drinking that's this but i don't need to go there and they playing around with my veins because they can't get nothing because i'm always drinking champagne um margaritas or pepsis two at a time so uh uh I gotta get hydrated so I can get this blood work done and get out of there and get back to y'all, okay? So let me drink this water, keep driving, and I'll talk to y'all later. I don't know why people find it okay to actually get to get naked. Mm, why? 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 Why you always ask somebody to get naked? Hello. Ooh, these kids are so low. They sure are the... Okay, this is the vampire. <laughs> She's gonna take my blood, y'all. Hold on to that and squeeze. You got a nice vein right there. What? Yeah, I see it already. Let's see what we can get out of it. I drink a lot of water, so water make a difference, y'all. Absolutely. All right, you guys. So today we're gonna go in and we're gonna see how Rainbow fits into the fashion world and what they have in store for 2024. All right, so we're gonna go inside and see if we see some of the fashions that's that's out here in 2024 and where Rainbow fits in. Let's take a look over here. And I absolutely love, love, love the plus section. Although you are not plus size, the sizes run very small in Rainbow and it is ideal to get a size up so that it will fit you properly and the material doesn't thin out we're going to go over here and check out metallics if you guys are not already aware metallics are very very much um in but this asymmetrical cut of this dress is absolutely beautiful and it also has let's see do it has a slit on the side okay the material is stretchy we're gonna check this out and also I love the gold. They also have satin, but my interest is in the metallics. So this is what we're gonna look at in the pricing. Price is $16.99. You guys, so for $29.97, Rainbow have these very beautiful coats. Absolutely gorgeous. These are very much in fashion. And they also have it in black absolutely beautiful look at that jacket i had a celebrity barber y'all see oh uh, yeah <laughs> you're pretty much done already all right that's close uh, <laughs> This is the one I've been telling you. Hey, I have him in the background. This like mine. I really? got him in the background. Yeah. And the brown one? No, the one that you caught on for. Hell nah. It do. Yeah, I got you. 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 Yeah, I got you.
Look what the mean. arrow said. Don't you go to this like church. A dude. <laughs> don't go to this church. Let me see trash is right now on the camera. That's for the feed. Oh, if you on, you on live? Yeah, for the feed. No. She got 22,000 people watching right now. <laughs> Why you talking about that? The clock demon. Uh-oh. Young boy. We're canceled now. Don't say nothing that, you know. Don't get canceled now. Wait, that's your only fan? Whatever. I can sell you. Show my shoes. Do it like this, Joe. Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose, or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you saying. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane. Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame. Let me put you on game. The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes. Everyone's going through something that nobody knows. Relax, stay in your lane, leave people alone. Don't buy a car on a chain when you don't have a home.